Welcome to Rhythm Cafe here on the Mighty Loading Ready Live Video Entertainment Network. My name is Ian Horner, and boy, am I glad that didn't go into my drink. Uh, speaking of uh, things that aren't... No, that's a terrible segue. Hi, Heather. Hello. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. Which one did I get? It's... Oh, right. There we go. <laughs> These still remain in the office and still remain great. Uh, hey. It's time for Rhythm Cafe, which, if you couldn't find out from the name of the show, is the show where we play rhythm games. And, uh, that doesn't explain why we've been playing Distortions. It's not technically a rhythm game, but it has rhythm-like elements, which means it's good enough for our list. And we have been having a time with it, have we not? It's been fun. It I know been. everybody else has been like, when will this end? <laughs> but you know what? That's part of my amusement. Yep. And I am only here for my amusement, not <laughs> yours. <laughs> Yours being yours, uh, mine is incidental, of course, as well as usual. Uh, I I do I do prefer if the co-host is also having a good time. Oh yeah, no. I, I, I don't really want you to have a poor time, I especially was, since you're playing the game. But. I mean, honestly, I was thinking about uh, the, the the shows we do here, voting ready running. Like, what what is the point of the show? Right, it's to make our co-hosts and friends laugh. Yep. And I think that's a that's a goal worthy of pursuing. Uh, right. So we're, we're close to the end of this game if we, uh, if we judge based on what we've seen so far. Uh, I mean, we believed that for that's three a very episodes good now, I think. Yes. So I don't know. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother, uh, oops, uh, pontificating anymore from the title screen, especially when y'all can't see it back there. But we've now, if I recall, just opened up some effing how the route to the the bad man underbridge yeah to the monster yeah. okay i know what that means now and i know it means i'm not supposed to go looking at it he just wants me to go touch that uh Whee! the thing i was gonna be touching was a dock but this is entertaining okay how will it take us to where we want to go I mean, part of me wonders if if what will happen is we'll, we'll find the ending within, like, ten minutes, and the screen just goes black, and it's like, the end, question mark, <laughs> oh, or no. something dumb, and, and, then, and then we just stare at it, like, what do we do now? It's right, we, we, we haven't discussed any sort of a backup plan yet. I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to do next week. Don't... Never mind if if there's a, an unexpected end. That's a good point. We did finish this game. We did finish the runner three. All I mean, right. if if uh, whoever makes that game wants to drop a runner four before <laughs> before Sunday, I I'd be all about it. I'd be there. Well, we'd have to check into the uh, the availability of one Charles Martinet, who I now know is the voice of Mario. Ah, <laughs> oh, good, good. This this boat is exactly in the orientation it needs to be to go down a long straight corridor. I mean, it's 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 trying to to straighten out. It's trying its be best. Okay. It's not the boat's fault. It was programmed this way. What? <sighs> Down the hole we go. Why is he still playing this game? I thought we escaped this purgatory. Biomonkey, we, we, we escaped a purgatory last night. Now we're going to a different one. What happened last night? Oh, sorry, last time. <laughs> uh, okay. No, last night I discovered uh, Brad Neely's uh, show from 1990 or 2016, uh, Har Harg Narglin Pipio. It's gonna duck out of frame after saying that for no reason. It's a fantastic. No, no, if you're if you're making that up, or or anything. No. I, you just said a bunch of really strange noises. Harg Narglin Pipio. It's the name of a television program. Okay, cool. Because I was going to ask if that was a kind of cheese. <laughs> because why not? It's to travel inside one's mind. Ooh. Not only your own mind, other minds. 
collective minds that created whole palaces, cities, landscapes. Are we in the mind palace of Persona 5? I've seen it before in my travels. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I was visiting a distant country. Ian, were you secretly playing country, Persona 5? I, visited I believe it. Palace. That explains the fiddling and the dancing. ...made entirely of ivory. The monitor said the king designed the room to show his guests how powerful he was. Then he built it to show them how stupid he was. <laughs> Last time, this on distortions. Right into a credit sequence. Sequence. I just. I don't know. Yeah. Like what was, I'm gonna feel about that. Wasn't the mask one our our, our goal? Yeah. I assume we'd go there and the mask would come off, or at least the chains or something. Yeah. He just. And then. We haven't really been back. On our worldly valley. I finally understand. My psychologist was right. I've made things up. What? I've made things worse than they actually were. It's like I wanted to be punished for what happened. But it wasn't my fault. It wasn't his fault either. We were just different people at a different moment of life. What happened? We were only humans. We were humans. And we didn't see ourselves as that. We wanted to be perfect. We wanted each other to be exactly we imagined in our heads. So I imagined him like a monster with a mask chained up by his hands. Also huge. Is this the first time we, we the characters noted that there was an actual psychologist? Yes, in my opinion, from my recollection, yes. We have never uh, really properly acknowledged the outside world. I mean, I assumed there was probably a doctor of some kind from based on a bunch of other stuff <laughs> that I felt the game was trying to do, but. And now we're on our way to visit the old man. Huh. Sick He's engine, bro. Very pretty. I wonder where this is. Ivory room. We didn't accept our own humanity. And it doesn't matter what you want the other person to be, but rather who you want to be. Wait, are we writing this down? Because I can hear the. When the traveler understands this, he will understand the true nature of traveling. The true nature of any relationship with yourself, with others, with the world. Is that the Until then, until you find another lonely traveler doing the same as you. Drake? Exploring places to one day discover his own self. Yeah, but Journey did this in a lot fewer words. <laughs> <laughs> I still had to be in control of the ship. The old king of the <laughs> ivory room was only killing elephants. What? <laughs> you can get ivory from so many things besides just elephants. He could have killed so many animals. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just Tom Sawyer and down the river. Oh, wait, now I'm explicitly back in control. Or not. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have another area to I don't I don't know. That camera looks like it's just trying to get away from us now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean we 
might be going to another area. We might just be getting credits. I can't tell. Is this a loading screen or a different... Maybe the game's about to turn into uh, one of those uh, film ones. Ooh, like, like a laser disc game. Echo. Yeah. Laser. Like the... Uh... Maybe it's, yeah, FMV. Thank you, chat. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe we're about to just become a completely different genre of game. Maybe a rhythm one. <laughs> I don't know, I think at this point we gotta go around collecting various animals. Maybe we could get a camera and we could take some pictures. All video games to do that now, right? Us! Playing our violin happily. Us! After killing God. Oh good, a save point. So you don't have to watch those cutscenes again. <laughs> Slowly get inside in first person. You think they could make Pokemon Snap a rhythm game? I mean, just so that I I could play that. Oh, so if you do, you gotta you, you have to be able to play as that one character from uh, Giant Robo, the, the villain who is able to attack people by letting out their snaps. But instead of attacking people, you take pictures by snapping at them. take it and it's also in VR okay so first off this is really fucking cool this yeah, giant, that looks pretty. giant pillar with a uh, on an island with a tiny little door to bring us up to uh, you know in case you <laughs> fell off I guess and you need a way back up how did we lose our health? Well, we barely escaped from the bad uh, shadows that couldn't, that can only smell us last time. I had to eat you all our found apples. A room of darkness filled with monsters, and he charged through them. And it worked! Because, yes, it worked. And that's what you use all your health for. That's why, why you tank a game. Yeah, that's why you save all the potions for the last boss. And we thought it was the last boss, so I used all the apple potions. <laughs> so I guess this is just now like Mass Effect 3 style denouement, where I just get to uh, go up a staircase and then uh, choose what, between two different staircases or a third staircase, depending on when this game was released. Hmm. So if you choose uh, the, a staircase between staircases one, two, and three, mm -hmm. and then uh, a game host comes out and shows you the answer between one of the other two staircases. Do you switch staircases? Well, it depends what I see. Like, if, if, if there's a tiger in there, then fuck yeah, I'm switching because I want the lady, not the tiger. That's, that's how you survive. But if it's the goat, then I'm in for real trouble here because I haven't read any classical literature that deals with that. Well, hello. Oh, hey, I know what to do here. Let's fuck this wall up. <laughs> uh, back. Ambient force. You turned around. Yep. Totally looked the wrong way there. There we go. Much better. This seems... I expected, like, an apple or something to be hiding behind the thing. Like, just, like, a little alcove, not an entire tunnel. Yeah, this is freakishly Giga-esque at this point. Okay. This is a... Where is this going? Uh, well, 
through something, presumably. Yeah. So That's, this, that is the purpose of a tunnel. This must be up then, because the staircase, like there, of of the four sides of that uh, that that thing, we should have come out the side uh, now, unless we were pointing directly up. In which case, I find it odd that they would create a shortcut and then also have the main staircase as well. Why not just the one efficient tunnel? Ooh. Ooh. Daisy. Daisy. Huh. Textural. Well, at least the game knows where its light sources are. Yeah, yeah, back there. <laughs> ah, down, down, down. Don't adjust your gamma. And I think uh, it's the right. And then, uh oh. You have a light? I do! Spell, if that might be helpful. The other way was a dead end, and this way is towards the light. Oh. Oh, this seems ominous. Hello. As opposed to the hallway we went through? Good point. But what are these globes? Ah! We... I think we found a peephole into our own apartment. Dude, you drilled a hole in the mirror? It is a weird place to put the hole. Yeah, it's also a weird, a, a weird collection of conic solids. Also, do you notice the mirror has mirrors inside the mirror? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Mirror. I assume that's just a mirror. Uh, uh, sorry, pointing at a different mirror, and because we, that I don't like that sound. Uh, oh, look, glowing lights. Those are always useful. I made a hole behind her bedroom mirror to watch her. She slept there for what seemed an eternity until one day she woke up. Or I rather say you woke up. You are the only one who can actually read this if you ever find it. What it meant, you waking up? That I finally got someone to read my scattered pages. You must forgive me. They are quite, they are pretty stupid. I thought no one would ever read them. So what do you think, what, what do you think you're doing here? What do you think you are? I have my own opinion on that matter. I'm pretty certain this valley is the memory of someone or made of memories of whom I can't tell. Maybe my, maybe my memories. Your memories, the memories of the big mask thing even. And what I can say is that until I found you sleeping, while you were asleep, things were pretty dull around here. Everything was stuck, frozen. The air was still, the sea without flow. Since you woke up, things started to move. You found a violin, made music, changed things. Into a previous dead space, you brought movement. In a place made of memories, you're letting them behind where they belong and moving forward, creating a path. What lies ahead outside of this valley of memories, I don't know. But this brings me expectations. So that's what I think you're doing, carrying expectations. Creeper. Yeah. Watching Soon. us while we sleep. Super Ugh. creepy. In this room? Yep. Why is he in this room? Well, I guess it's where he keeps all his globes. Ah. Ooh. Is he still hanging about watching us do stuff? I mean, he must be. Probably. He definitely was for a while because he wrote all those pages about us. This is nice, though. I like that. 
feel like we're playing the Odyssey, but the coma we went into put us in someone else's head. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the Raiders from the Brain Better Generation, or Dimension, or however you call yourselves. Hope you enjoy the show. Oh, there's a good unobstructed shot. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, this is kind of neat, walking through a creepy hallway and seeing, like, the weird outside. I don't uh, know why it's here, but it's neat. <laughs> well, I think I think the uh, I think this game may be more about uh, aesthetics and uh, setting a uh, a feeling more than particular gameplay, because the gameplay that they have decided to include, namely uh. jumping puzzles, isn't the greatest. Right, I, think, I, I think I think the answer to that puzzle was. What, what happened? I think you're right. Jump, jumping, I... jumping down. What, what's back here? Oh, wow. This game is not uh, pleased with... There's nothing else to see in the old hangar and the bedroom. There is no turning back now. Whoa, holy... Hello. Well, uh... Clip world. I think we're in endgame, Heather. Good. I think. I mean, we're, we're going to find out one way or another, right? We do need to. I mean, I want. I do. I do want to know what the ending of this game is like. It's not. It's not like a. I want the game to end because I'm not enjoying it. I just feel confused again. The game has been. The game really hasn't been consistent with telling us where we are in it. Or what we need to do, or what's about to happen, which in a way is refreshing. Hello. Okay. Hey. We came back. I recognize this area feel safe again. Holy moly, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, this is where, where we started. Oh. I mean, we should probably save here, too. Yeah, that's a good idea. <sighs> well, I do like games that are circular in nature like this. Sorry, Eric the Orange, I, I, I saw you uh, type that, uh, or I didn't see you type that, but I just saw it show up in the chat, and I read that as time to, to comfort Mask Boyfriend. Like, I mean, maybe. That would be... Boy, that would be something weird to to uh, to gamify the, the, the comforting of another uh, individual. So how do I play this? Uh, it is... Missed one. I should attract the monster here before playing this. Oh, I should practice this. <laughs> that is the more, yeah. Feel like we're about to go and get the thing to chase us, and then you have to probably play a bunch of music. Ooh, yeah. Or, uh, or while running away. Now, will this be a thing where we uh, where we're able to do it uh, slowly, uh, even, even, or will we have to do this very quickly and 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 in a in a method that uh, is stressful? Uh, I'm hoping the first one because if it's the quickly method. I believe the stress is going to be m more on the uh, mechanics not working out the way we want them to. Yep. Got out of bed and found myself in a strange, impossible place which could make Lewis Carroll proud. A gigantic monster is observing everyone with false painted eyes. I'm scattering these pages for you to find. Please help me, yeah. 
impossible. I, I'm pretty sure that was the exact emotional uh, impact that that page was hoping for. I don't remember my name. I don't know where I'm from. I only remember that I could play a violin. Or was it that the girl could? I think I know more about her than I do about myself. Not a good thing. Also, I made a car. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not a good thing at the end of that. It's really good. <laughs> not a good thing. Signed, not a good thing. Now wait, was that a signature or a uh, or a commentary? No, it was a commentary. Hey, you, you, give me a hand with these. Hello. I wish I could play the violin for him again. Do 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 do. Coffee stain. <laughs> ah! Didn't want to go back to look at that again. It could. Death is possible. Just wanted us all to remember that death is possible. And probable. I mean, and also generally inevitable. I mean, we, we, we may fix that at some point in the near future, but hey. YOLO! <laughs> <laughs> As she sways back and forth, hitting terminal velocity. All right. Here we go. Up the ivory, yet incredibly dusty pathway. Things always come to an end. <laughs> will you choose to live Hello. in the past, or will you go on, face the new, your expectations? Who is this? Life such as this instant is ephemeral. The difference Boyfriend? is that over your life, you have some control. Yeah, but not very good Kill controls. Those memories. Don't rely on them to be who you are. <laughs> I hope this isn't like a multiple hey. choice. Can I run off the end? Nope, thank goodness. <laughs> I kind of wish you could. Oh. Fuck off! <laughs> We were just there! Oh shoot, I just noticed it. Yeah, you can't unsee it once you do, right? So long. Okay. Hard to play a song when you keep getting interrupted by all the cutscenes. the chains. The chains that don't bind anything.
I'm wrapped. I half expect him to turn into a boy as that uh, thing passed the camera. Oh, yeah, I could see that. I was waiting for it to open its mouth. I hope it never opens its mouth. No. Um, hey. Yeah, he might have to run now. Is this good? No. Okay. Oh no. Oh, that would be a problem. Control returns! I feel now we're less running because there's a monster and more because the bridge is about to give out. Three, pause, one, two, three! Dr. Rock might have for a second. <laughs> Me too! I can't move yet! <laughs> Just like <Me>? Runner 3. <laughs> I guess that's where we were supposed to cast bridge. Oh. Suck a donut. Come on, lady. <laughs> At least there's like only one path you can run. It's not like one of those scenes you see in movies where people are running away from the thing nope. in a straight line. Okay. It's ambient, it's protect, right? Nope, it's ambient, uh, bridge. a good portion of the song, the bridge doesn't last long enough for me to do anything. Especially if the controls get hung up for whatever reason, like they did there. after me. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Why is that an option for things that can happen? Ambient bridge. Checkpoints. Yeah, checkpoint on the bed. here because the game has told me to. It's, it seems pretty wide, like, like... Yeah, I'd have no problem running on that one myself. Yeah. Oh god, 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 oh Christ is at least some checkpointing. You must have to place something at that point. Is it force? I bet it's force. Uh, or you just or have to. You can do that right. Yeah, you just have to run fast. That's, that's definitely what this game is known for. Letting you run fast. Mm -hmm. Now I have to force it. And that's tech. No, uh, back. Ambient force.
Thanks. Uh, wall. Protect. And that was force, which is good enough, I guess. I guess it's maybe a wall then? <sighs> okay, well, I think we just fucked this run. No, you might as well just... Might as well just take the, uh, take the death right there. Yeah. Start with a wall here. Just need a ambient bridge. It's good enough for me. <gasps> oh, I am glad that did not. Yeah, me okay. too. Okay, so now Here's it's. To play that song. a lot further away than I expected it to be. Yeah. Attack its butt! <laughs> okay, so we undid some chains and then redid some other chains. Mm -hmm.
Uh, I... Did it kill you? Yes, it did. Uh, where are we now? Okay, we're here. So we have to start by doing the... Uh... happens which we can't skip uh maybe we have to play one of the other songs at it maybe can't go that way. Uh, I think we just have to survive. And just not get hit by its paws. So you need to go jumping off the side when you did that. We did just get launched into the air. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, he's just gonna fuck his own shit up. Okay. Bye! I'm, fi I'm, I'm fine with that. Play that now. Yeah. Where are we? Okay. Hey, what's the song again? I love doing runners from this perspective. Yep. Oh no. I need you. Uh, ambient light. Nope. Light. like out. Fucking bye! Come on! Get to the tilty stairs! Oh! Yes! 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 Ha ha ha! We ride! All right! Ah. Quick! The song you've never seen before!
Eat it! I think... I played your song! <laughs> it does murder you. This is going to be our last session. <sighs> I'm doing this as a favor to your father, but I shouldn't be. Um. <laughs> Not after you ignored all of my suggestions and the inventions. Uh... The car that nobody had, the so-called accident, shadows at every corner. We know none of this existed. <sighs> ah. You killed the best chance you had to get back what was left. Some of us remember those we once knew as who they really were. But others remember them as distortions. Do not play Gaslight the game with me, game. I guess we both know now what kind of person you are. Confused? No. It's better if you don't come back. Okay. I give up. I didn't want to be his friend anyway. Yeah. with horse five. <laughs> Pushing space. This is a great video game. I call it Jump Woman. I hope this won't infringe on any copyrights.
Funko Pop of the Masked One win. Can't look that much more terrifying than Funko Pop. Space of leave me alone space. Mm -hmm. I need space. failure state at this exact moment. <laughs> oh, that would be awful. Goodness, I thought it was going to make you run away from it on the raft. Nope. Looks like it's gonna take a gigantic dump in the water every time it moves, no matter how it moves. <laughs> like, sir, you need to unload the junk in your trunk. What the fuck? Ah. You came back and this time you did it. You realize that what happened doesn't matter, only you you matter only the expectations. You finally, you finally made, made me what I am. A forgotten memory. Time for me to go back to back to bed. I'm vanishing. I'm free. Oh, 
Uh, okay. So this is the real world then. Got it. is just, sometimes a mask is just a cool mask. Unlikely. Yeah, this this feels like we're getting as emotionally uh, impactful as Wow, we're, we're just gonna drown this thing in the river? It's time for your memories, Ian. Sometimes you gotta make them drown. Yeah, I guess so. They said the only thing that matters is your expectations, which means that there's God. God is only made of your expectations. Well, give me the expectations I had for this game. Yes. Let us climb this ethereal bridge. Yeah, this just gives me the urge to watch Free Willy. And surf our giant boyfriend. Do I have to do a bridge? Nope. <laughs> okay, I just have to Good jump enough. over. with a nose like that is that it'll keep your mouth out of the water? I don't think we won yet. Do we have to rip this mask off? Is that it? Oh, he's missing his back feet chains now. Did we tame? Did we tame it? Can we ride it? <laughs> I mean, we kind of have been. 
It's a good point. I guess what I'm asking is, can we can we pilot it? I, just, I can't tell if the music cut because it's still in the middle. Okay, it did. There's a lot of those scenes where it kept blacking out as if it had to load the next portion and then the dramatic music came in again as if it should have just kept going. Yeah. Huh. Found the end of the game, though. Yeah, we did find the end of the game. So, so. I guess the moral of the story is listen to people when they have memories about things. Don't gaslight them and don't be a giant asshole with a big mask and two eyes in the wrong direction on your headband. Do you think this game has new game plus? I hope not, because that would give us something to do. <laughs> However, this, maybe. however, I do maybe. believe this game is pretentious enough to have post-credits uh, activities. Mm -hmm. just, yeah, and, and after the credits cutscene, is that a zap? I was thinking maybe it would open up a section of the menu that would let you play all the songs that you've learned. <laughs> I think we can definitely do it. That was, this is cool. Though. This is getting a list of the, uh, the mountains that uh, inspired the old man of the store. <laughs> we asked the old man at the store what she wanted, and the mountain said, This is the one you are looking for. Okay, Have I want to see. I want to see that you guys had QA. <laughs> well, they had two. It just says tester. That does not say QA. Good point. No quality was assured, but the game was tested. I like the, the, the two different reactions to the, from Anubis. That was never the Isle of Sky. I've been there and it's 200% wetter than this. Versus the other direction of as well, Nick. I knew that was the Isle of Sky. Oh, that... wait. Okay, good. That's... Did, that... Did this game take nine years to make? Oh, no. the, the last thing that popped up said uh, thank you friends for the last nine years and the good beer or something oh wow and just has this game been being developed for nine years <laughs> I hope not Sorry, I, can, I can't believe I missed that yeah ah, called it I mean it might not have been like fully in development for nine years sometimes ideas start and then they take time to get off the ground and mm -hmm. And hey, Heather, what you wanted? It's right here. Oh, you meant the songs in, in, in terms of not the uh, the spell songs? I just like all the music and stuff that you ended up playing. It's, it's not uncommon for a story rhythm game to have a place that's like practice or play these now that you've unlocked them. Yeah. All star. Call monster. Okay. Do I get my dream when we get to ride the monster too? I hope so. Hey, you guys! Monster! <laughs> Did somebody ask for a booty call? See that mountain? We can go there! Okay. Totoro, you're not distortions, but you weren't a bad game. I give it a lot of guff for uh, for some of the problems. I, I I didn't hate it. I didn't come into I mean, work every week saying I, I'm, I'm not looking forward to playing this. This was a lot of fun. 
Yeah, like I, I think most of it, what it could have used was some polish in its its mechanics department. But mm -hmm. I think in terms of like we want to tell a story, we have the scenery. I mean, there was some scenery that we found and some sub oceans, but I, I didn't feel like bad about any of it. Yeah, and it was ambitious as hell, and I think that's uh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, brain better. Uh, the, the difference between bad and flawed, I think, is is, is what's in here. Uh, bad is mm -hmm. is going into a uh, a game with bad intentions and and bad ideas and realizing all of those. And this is a game that that went in with, which I can clearly see, with some very ambitious and very high minded ideas. I love the 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 act of uh, of musicality as being a, a part of a game, and uh, it, it's not often we get to see that. Um, but yeah, it didn't exactly live up to the expectations I was expecting. So what's Yeah, the... like my majority of my problems with it had to do with the with with the platforming. I don't think this should have been maybe as heavy on some of the platforming. Mm -hmm. Um I also wasn't I wasn't a fan of like the camera switching around a lot on its own, but I feel like that had more to do with them trying to make something cinematic going on and maybe it just not working out quite as intended in practice yeah well that was nice to do I bet these are going to be like a replay of the actual uh sequences because they, they these kind of felt like the boss stages if there were anything like it or cutscene stages yeah these look like the big cutscene yeah, areas I absolutely do not want to get back into those right now i do i do like that it's in a big giant room yeah it's kind of cool full of water and uh ooh, ooh, ooh. hey among giants it's king. I did also want to check out the compendium, see what's in there here too, before we uh, figure out what our lives are for the next next little while. Where 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 are you? New game, absolutely not. Continue. Uh, I don't know if we can compendium. So we're replaying this in VR. Absolutely not, Nickus. Okay, so we got the bridge. The Masked One's Cave. The New Lands. Ooh, Ooh can, I, room. can I watch these the fuck in the air? Yes, I can! Okay, that's pretty cool. Can I die from having balls land on me? Okay, so these are all just... Oh! What's going on here? I think those might be yeah, all the all the journal notes. Right. Hopefully they're From there. The chair, yeah. Hopefully we didn't miss any, because I'm not gonna go read through these to find out. I'm not sure if we could have. Half to the museum. Now why is this sealed off like this? It said dev room above it. Boo! I was hoping the I mean, secret they're, song. They're, some of the glowing lights seem like they're brighter than others. Maybe those are the ones that you oh, missed. Like that one it's, that's it's, like lifted up really high. I, I think it's, yeah, because when you get close to them, they turn out. So you can do that same thing with, oh. You know what? You know what I bet? I bet you're supposed somehow supposed to get all those balls into the uh Devrum thing. Yep. Cause why else would they have four balls in this room? I mean that's the case I'd probably leave and come back so that they're more in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Are we good Am I gonna try that out? Yes I am, clearly. Well yeah. Okay, now that we got to see the Among Giants again. Oh, 
everything okay where you are? So I could hear some hammering and I wasn't sure which which direction it was coming from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not here. So either I'm hearing something completely artificial or something's up. All right. Come with me, balls. I know a way out of here. Let's start with you. Okay, I think we can just leave that one to go now. That one will get there eventually. Oh, gotta make sure it's going in the right direction. Damn it, that should do it. Last one. Seriously, I knocked two of them out? Uh, oh, okay, I might be wrong about these balls. Wait, can I clip into the dev room? Seems no. Let's see, internet, compendium and dev room, new features, oh, this is posted. We have two new real cool features for you. On the last update, we added the compendium and the dev room. The compendium is a place where you can check all the pages that you found in the game. It's possible to access it at any moment in the game from the new game menu. And if you manage to find all the pages and special pages in the game, you will grant access to the dev room. Fuck that! <laughs> the dev room is a place that show the background of the game, like the tools that we developed, pictures from production, musics, and more. We have plans to update it with new things from time to time. We're still updating the game daily, fixing and polishing everything as fast as we can. The compendium was a feature that the community asked us for. We will continue to add new features and polishing the game. So if you want some really cool features, please let us know. That's kind of cool. And like always, if you have any issue, please just report us as well, and we will fix it right away. Thanks, friends. That's from the Steam page. You're, you're welcome, Steam. They posted that March 15th, 2018. Ooh, that was a while ago. <laughs> um, do... Do you think they're still polishing the game? Well, their last post was August 15th of 2019, mm -hmm. saying now you can buy Distortion's paintings to decorate your place. Woo, at the moment, it's just selling in Brazil. Okay, good, safely quarantined. Huh. Uh, the music room looks like the newest feature they added, and that was back in September of 2018. That was a ways back. All right. Well, I think this is probably a good time for us to take a short break and also maybe figure out what we're going to do here for the next little bit. Um, yeah, all y'all on the other side, don't go away. There's going to be more Rhythm Cafe in just a bit. See you shortly. See you in the shortly. Yes, that sounds good. Uh, 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 uh. Commercial. But and that was probably the first thing that came through. Um, yes, we are back. This is Rhythm Cafe. I'm Ian. This is Heather. Hey. And we've done it again. Perfect. Uh, right, we're gonna come back. Hey, we couldn't figure out what we did before. I couldn't remember what we did before when we ran into the things. And then Heather reminded me that we play lo-fi ping pong. So that's what we're gonna do here for the next uh, next 29 or so minutes. Because we have stuff to do, don't we? <laughs> Ooh, Necro Dancer. That could have been a good one, too. But uh, we, haven't, mm. we haven't done this for a while. And this is nice and lo-fi and uh, low impact. 
I'll have to remember. I'll have to remember Necrodancer for like if I have a problem. Mm. <laughs> we should just have a. We should have a poster in the room of okay. If the if game, then game. If not game, then this game. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Yeah, this has been. This has been a while. Uh, Get, get some tiny sticky notes so that we can place out the titles of the game depending on what we're actually doing. Exactly. Oh, my my thumbs have been sleeping for centuries. And it just started <laughs> to wake up. Forgotten this good low finest. The music's what we've always wanted. So what's new with you, Ever? Ah, uh, we're on Sunday. Yep. We're on. We're mid July now. Yeah. Yeah year is over half over now it's it's been weird i like i i i have a, a two-month calendar spread that i use for our, our youtube uploads mm -hmm. and so i'm always erasing one month and putting up the next month um when we, when we move into a new month like this and it's really weird to look at august and be like yep yeah, august is here and i can't what I'm not. I'm not writing down a convention that people will be out way at, and I don't know. It's just odd. That seems yeah ridiculous. Sorry, I just discovered a new button press that I can use. Oh. So I can use right on the D-pad or down on the D-pad if I want to use that for my down or center rather or left. So I can oh. use two hands properly. Not that it's necessarily helping, but we'll find out. Uh -huh. I did watch the, uh, the, the Ubisoft thing today. Oh, you got your free stuff? Oh, God, no. <laughs> I don't have a Uplay account. I only recently found out that was a thing they were doing for this, and it, it sounds like a decent idea. It sounds like everybody had a hard time logging in at the same time. Oh, that, yes. That, that, that is... I was gonna say, yeah, it's 2020, and that makes, means people can't build web systems? Again? We went through this 20 years ago, people. <laughs> I thought the whole purpose of allowing AWS to control everything was to have them provide us with a, an unbreakable service. Yeah. I don't know if there were any Ubisoft games you were hoping to see, but... Uh definitely seemed like they also weren't hoping to show anything. <laughs> so. Wow. Oof. It was an hour. It was an hour long of of like six or seven games. Which, you know, would be cool if it felt like I don't know, every time I watch one of these things, I just want a Nintendo Direct to happen. Because I just want to watch somebody have good pacing. I keep forgetting to uh, go back and watch that, uh, that thing that oh my good friend Suda51 did. Promoting No More Heroes 2 by being directly over top of the gameplay the whole time. Oh, did you hear what he did during the... Um, uh, Volver Digital event? No. He showed two seconds of new of, of the game during the credits. Oh wow. Good job, Suda. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm not sure so yeah, I'm not sure if you watch or have at all watched the Apple keynotes, but they just did their recent one for WWDC earlier in the month and Boy, that was a trip. 
Yeah. Like they put a lot of polish into that. And I don't know if I like it more or less than a live keynote. Like it really mm. felt in terms of pacing and, and polish and transitions on par with, or I would say even exceeding a Nintendo Direct. Just the sheer number of sets mm. they had. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't watch all of it, but Bead showed me some instances of like some of the transitions and stuff they did, which I thought was really neat. And um, didn't they also often like in inside the uh, the stage where they would have had people, they uh, had the seats behind them to show that, that there was no one yeah. in the in the seats. I kind of liked that. I kind of liked the outright we're just showing you that there is no one here as opposed to kind of trying to work around it and do the normal thing. Exactly. Like, weirdly, I think that, uh, I just recently found out that Peter Sagal of Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, uh, the NPR news quiz, they've started, uh, using a laugh track on their, sh on their show. Because otherwise that type of comedy just doesn't work without it. And it's mm. because it's usually the type of show that's taped before a live studio audience. And I think they're starting to realize what we've realized very early on with Loading Ready Live is that improvised comedy, you know, live comedy that's meant to be shown in front of a live audience is really difficult to do when there's no audience. Mm. Like, it doesn't mean you can't do it. We're, we're living proof, but it is so much better and so much easier to do. I've found that, um... Uh, last week tonight, I've gotten really used to the white void mm -hmm. setup, and I, I I've actually begun to really quite like it. Well, especially, but I I think that format I, I definitely like it as well, and I think part of the reason that format works well is because it is a uh, it's it's a, a scripted show. He's reading it. He's just reading a, an essay that's been pre-made, mm -hmm. and so I think it works. You, you can you can massage it to uh, add or remove the time necessary for, for a laugh track. And it, it, it got better when they started to uh, remove some of those pauses and just keep going and let you laugh when you need to do. Mm -hmm. All this to say, you know what? I think we should experiment with a laugh track. Maybe on this program. I mean... Good. Do you want do you want to make a laugh track I think I and use it, or do you do you want to just like go and find a laugh track? I think I should actually just uh, find some find a laugh track and uh, load it in some of the buttons on this uh, Go XLR here. Ooh, yes, I like this. Because I'm pretty sure you can have multiple sound banks installed anyway, so they could go back to the air horn, what have you. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a there's a file system. On there, I mean, we use that to go back and forth between the scenes and the right. other buttons. Then, anytime one of us hits a joke, we just hit the button. You should definitely put in some surprises. <laughs> uh, maybe just give them like question marks and see if anyone pushes mm -hmm. them during the stream. This one is the Gilbert Gottfried laugh track. Well, I feel like. Given that that there can only be so many of us at the office at a time, uh, so you don't really see other people at the office oh, that yeah. much, we need to lay traps for one another. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. I, I thought you were going to, to suggest that we should just record the off-screen laughs of the people who are in the office, usually, <laughs> and just add them in like they're here at the office. No, I just, I just mean that, uh, you know, we had the Adam homunculus for a while. We had uh, the, do you think about holes post-it note? Mm -hmm. Now we have some puppet sticks, figures of us. We, we need to be just leaving things out for other people to come across and see what happens. I mean, I did kind of want to put, put together a webcam for ceiling egg. <laughs> just only pointing ceiling on egg ceiling egg. Around. You know, I haven't checked, but I don't believe that it's gone anywhere. I'll, ch I'll you know what? Hold on a second. I, yep. I hope Stealing Egg is safe. Stealing Egg still is extant. Okay, good. I, I, honestly, I haven't been there for a few days, and I always want to double check that Stealing Egg is still safe. 
Ceiling egg matters. I really want ceiling egg to fall down on someone, but given the fact that there's no one around, it's gonna mean that no one's gonna see it if it happens. I mean, I, I, I like it, like the pitch drop experiment. It is eventually going to come down, but will some will be anyone be there to uh, to to witness it when it happens? Well, less likely now. Exactly. I always kind of imagined it because uh, a lot of the writing meetings would happen out in that in that friend zone area. So I was kind of I kind of always imagined in the middle of something happen, someone trying to pitch a thing, it would just fall down and maybe land in someone's coffee, or or just the speed of it would catch someone's eye. And we just know that. Just like I'm trying to do right now, seeing if I can discover any tells from the street dugong. <laughs> Just reminds me also, the, 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 lo the lo-fi portion of this game reminds me of uh, what Bunny Cartoon on uh, Twitter was saying the other day about how difficult it is when your favorite Ghibli film isn't one of the popular ones. Mm. And specifically that no one recognizes that uh, the original lo-fi uh, beats to study to girl was a screen cap from Mimio Sumiseba, uh, if you listen closely. People don't, uh, people just don't know. Have I seen that one? Uh, you probably did. It's the one with Country Roads and the violin and the cat, the Baron, the first time before the cat returned. Oh, Whispers of the Heart. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry, yes, I'm thinking. Night, of, sorry, I'm, yes, Whispers of the Heart. Sorry, I'm thinking of. Uh, I'm also thinking of Umia, Umio Sumiseba. Ocean waves. I'm yeah. I'm 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 now tripping all over my own knowledge. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I I thought she was from Whispers of the Heart, but then you mentioned a different title, and I was like, oh, well, yeah. maybe I'm wrong, because uh, some of the uh, the uh, well, as you put it, less popular ones have a have a similar feel. Mm -hmm. Generally, because they're directed by Takahata, but not all of them. <laughs> uh did we watch last night we've been we've been doing they a bunch of them seem to have hit netflix recently so oh, yeah they, they did a dump doing, uh, doing a bit of a watch we watched castle in the sky the other day uh nasuka what was this last night oh right we rewatched uh Arietti last night oh wow the borrower It's a, it's a heck of a lot better than the 1997 movie that I watched as a kid. Did I have John Candy in it? I, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've actually seen the film, but I feel like that it just feels like a John Candy joint. <laughs> I've seen some po Porco Rosso love in the chat there a couple times. That's always good to see. Ugh. Surprised we haven't seen Porco Rosso in this game yet, to be honest. <laughs> well, you know, they keep, um... They keep delaying Beyond Good and Evil 2. <laughs> Is that just now an answer for every... for everything? Um... Oh, uh, there one one of the one of the characters, uh, their name's Paige, is uh, is a pig man. Oh. I have not played Beyond Good or Evil. But then again, I also haven't played Deadly Premonition, and boy are some of the screen caps and video caps of that game making me look like that's a good time. I believe the first one apparently has some has some charm to its jank. Uh, I've heard back and forth about the second one. I've been seeing a lot of that. really good jank out of that.
I mean, the trouble is, you, as you know, with these games, is you need to get into the mindset. <laughs> and the distortions is kind of the anti precision yeah. rhythm game mindset. <laughs> My fat thumbs won't. How's your, uh, how's your, I'm assuming you're still playing Judgment at home. Yes. How's that going? We got up to chapter seven last night and I need to figure out uh, how much farther we've got, but it's going quite well. It's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, it does remind me every time that there is no karaoke in the game, so we have to finish early and then boot up Yakuza Zero to do some karaoke to end the show with. But... <laughs> yeah, I remember being very disappointed about the lack of rhythm game in Judgment. Mm -hmm. But it does also give us the opportunity to sing the song Judgment Shimpan at the end of a Judgment stream, which is nice. <laughs> No, we've been uh, keeping pretty close to the plot on that one. Though we do occasionally end up in a sub-story accidentally because, well, whoops, Yak is a game. <laughs> Still unsure about the gameplay of Yakuza 7, but we'll find out when we get there. I mean, still got a number of other Yakuza games to play, if, yep. I, if I understand right. <laughs> Three through so, five. Yeah, you got some got some time to find out if that's gonna be your jam or. Yeah, who knows? I could get sick of the old of the old style. <laughs> I just I just finished playing uh, uh, Chibi Robo Park Patrol the other day, mm -hmm. and it's okay. the the me the, the mechanics they set up made it a little on the tedious side, which is a bit of a disappointment. But it was kind of nice to just have a game that I had started back in like January finished yeah it's not hanging over it's not taking up any space in your head anymore yeah i i started it on the way to um uh i think uh on the trip to pack south because it was like i i want to play something that i'm not going to stream right and then you know stuff gets away on you because it's, it's not that long of a game <laughs> Happily, I was able to make incredible headway on Thursday in terms of getting my joystick ready for September. Mm. Which is when Star Wars Squadrons comes out. And the information I learned about converting the joystick has made it... It's going to make it much easier to uh, convert the throttle. Which means I'll be using over 20-year-old hardware to control this brand new game. Which I'm very excited for. <laughs> is that um is that so is that game supposed to be like the pod racing game that they brought out like ages like years ago or no, it's actually supposed to be more like uh the x-wing versus tie fighter games that were brought out even before that in the in the 90s mm -hmm. the idea that it's gonna be like a uh i think it's a four on four or six on six uh team-based flight simulation and you get to pick your, your your ships either on the Empire side or on the uh, the Rebel side, and you get involved in little skirmishes. But it's also going to be playable in VR, which I understand is basically one of the best ways to play any sort of flying game, because you get that real sense of immersion because you get the cockpit around you, and you can keep your hands on you know your stick and your throttle. So you're not, hmm. you're, you're, you don't have that weird problem that you do with most VR games, which is the, con the control scheme doesn't match up with what you're experiencing. And uh, right. they, they haven't shown much gameplay, but they did show a good amount of in-cockpit footage. And boy, does it look gorgeous. Like, we're talking 
real immersion level for Star Wars. I mean, if it's coming out in September, I imagine uh, it can't be too much longer before you get a chance to see see some sort of gameplay. Yeah. Um, or if, if not released by them, by at least reviewers or something. Yeah. Regardless, I have booked out the uh, the office uh, for the day. <laughs> what I assume will be a, a day long uh, squad based stream. I think Ken has also uh, suggested he is into being on said squad. Hmm. Yeah, I, me I imagine there's probably a couple of people in the group. I think so. Yeah. That. Regardless, it was nice to be able to take what was essentially an obsolete and unusable piece of electronics and update it and make it usable for the current day and far into the future, actually, too. In fact, it gives me a lot of, uh, what's the word, confidence to uh, build some more custom controllers for things, mm. including rhythm games. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do have to take that one, uh, that one drum that stopped working properly apart. Oh yeah, the conga. Let's see if we can't fix that. Maybe remove. Or make it better, even. Look, <laughs> sh shall we remove the clap uh, command and replace it with a button, just to give our our poor hands a break? <laughs> I mean, I kind of liked the clapping. <laughs> I just remember how sore my hands got after a full session of clapping along with Donkey Kong. Yeah, that that was definitely not not a game that I think either of us could solo for a whole stream. Jungle Beat, good god, no. <laughs> oh, and PM Avers, the uh, yeah, fight sticks are actually one of the things I actually do feel pretty confident I could put together now. So maybe I'll have to approach him about that. I could make a, a good series on Tinker Taylor. We sit Adam down and take some measurements of his hands and build him a fully custom stick. <laughs> now we'll just have to get an artist to uh, put his coat of arms on it. You left here. Uh, Dark Morford, it was really just a. Uh, the joystick itself was. really came down to just using a teensy with the, the incredibly Russian MM Joy 2 software, uh, which makes it really easy to uh, adjust your joystick layout on the teensy itself, on the microcontroller. And then uh, it involves me trying to decide what sort of a button matrix I wanted to do. And eventually deciding I could just make a one by nine button matrix rather than the three by three. And that made things much easier. If that doesn't mean anything to you, the rest of you out there in the show land, you can check out the VODs for our various shows over at youtube.com slash loading ready live. That's where we keep all of our streamium content. That's to say anything that we've streamed and we uh, judge to be archive worthy, which is pretty much everything. All of our freemium content, which is to say all of our other content, goes up over at loadingreadyrun.com, where you can find links to all our great shows, such as youtube.com slash loadingreadyrun. Also, our magic content is helpfully sequestered over at youtube.com slash lrrmtg. If you'd like to find the schedule for our goings-on, you can check that out over at youtube.loadingreadyrun.com slash live. And there you'll find a calendar <laughs> full of all of our stuff that we do that you can update automatically and click for more information. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I do I do want to remind people that uh, uh, if there are like 
you notice that maybe there are some bods that are missing, particularly older ones. They probably got blocked for some reason or another. YouTube is precocious in that way. Oh, yes, Dark, Dark Warford, that's basically what happened is I just stripped out the entire ADB interface and soldered everything that was wired up to the TNC. Because trying to translate from Apple desktop bus to modern day stuff that will be interpreted as a hid joystick is more trouble than it's worth. All right. One more try. One more try. And the three for. <clears throat> I was feeling good. Okay. We're gonna call that the end of today's Rhythm Cafe because I've had my fun. I hope you have all had your fun too. We've done our duty, which is completing the distortions. We now no longer are controlled by sexes and violins. Coming up next on the channel, we have a... It should be a play it forward. You know it is. And oh boy, oh boy, am I excited for this. I'm not gonna be watching it, but I'm very excited to see the results. <laughs> of Cam has taken up the controller and he is going to be doing a playthrough. That's right, he's going to finish and beat Bloodborne, which should be quite the experience. Uh, then of <laughs> course, coming up in the evening is Dice Friends. We're coming back at 6 p.m. Reminder, Dice Friends is moving to 6 p.m. for the limited engagement with Jer that is a Rasp of Sand, uh, played in the Rasp of Sand setting. Uh, partially uh, a, the zine-based, I want to say, uh, dungeon system. I, I believe so. If you look at the uh, the VODs or the um, at the VODs, the the YouTube uploads we're doing of those on the Loading Ready Run YouTube, uh, there is information in the description about where you can find that game and what that game is based on. Mm -hmm. And we go over that at the top of the uh, top of the streams too, usually. Uh, then, of course, Tuesday returns with mine o'clock at 10 a.m. That is what it, it says on the tin. And, of course, Talking Simulator in the afternoon uh, will be another video game that we'll find out what it is. Tuesday rounds off, of course, with the Let's Note crew coming back in, and they'll be playing some fun and spoopy games. I don't know what they're currently involved in, but it is always a hoot. Uh, other pieces of information we need to deal with. Uh, we did the Patreon. Thank you, Patreon patrons, uh, for your support. It helps us do the work we do here. And, uh, yeah, if you need to adjust your patron levels, it's because of the everything. We understand. Same goes for those of you and your generous, uh, your generosity over at twitch.tv slash loading ready run. We want to thank you all for your twits and bits. Specifically, we'd like to thank, uh, these people, Piggy Worm who has a uh, pygmy worm, not piggy worm, pygmy worm, was a 41 month <laughs> subscriber is. Thank you, I hope you remain so. Uh, cheers and thank you for that. Control Alt Defeat Live has resubscribed for 34 months, sub hype. Right, we uh, thank those better brain raiders. Thanks for joining us for the show. See sick Barry dropping in with that three month sub. We're just getting started and then we finished. <laughs> Kazuki came back for 31 months. Welcome back. Mm, it's time for dessert. And I'm going to have a big bowl of kami pudding for 74 months. Thank you. Hi. A swan-like neck has tiered 500 bits. Don't look now, Ian, but there is a small, large walrus behind you. It was a problem. The cheese <laughs> stands alone, and they've done so for 24 months. Remember, rotate your cheddar every three months if you want uh, best flavor. Banriel cheered us with 300 bits. There are four balls. Sure were. And Zed Alpha cheered us with 100 bits, saying, sure is weird we Sports Resort mod that you're playing here. Well, if I ping pong's rocks. I'm not, I, I'm not oh, yeah, they, should, they should. They should bring back Wii Sports Resort as a rhythm game. I'd be into that. Prowl2000 has come back for their second month. Welcome back. 
And Pon Far, usually only appearing once every five years, has come back for their 39 month in a row. Hope y'all are doing well. We in fact are. I would like them to re-release Wii Sports Resorts for the Switch or any of the Wii Sports game and still call them Wii I Sports. Yes. Yes, they definitely need to keep... In fact, what I would really like them to do is call them Wii Sports Res uh, Resort Deluxe because they've like added mm. in the new Switch content. Mm. But definitely keep Wii Sports oh, no, in there. They, they, should, the title. they should call it Wii Sports DS or, or Deluxe uh, Deluxe Switch and just not... Yes. And, 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 and not spell it out, just have it Wii Sports DS on the Switch. Yes. Yes, Max. I like that a lot. Mm, perfect. Uh, and then, of course, I can do it, the, the Super Edition, too. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching Rhythm Cafe today. Uh, this ends the Loading Ready Run broadcast day. It's an absolute pleasure to have you along with me. Absolute pleasure to be streaming with you, as usual, Heather. Uh, by the way, where can people find you if you want them to find you? Um, you might be able to find me in another week or so over at twitch.tv slash lunarjade. Uh, I'm currently on a bit of a break, but I think I'll be coming back soon. And Ian, how about you? Well, continue to enjoy that break. I'm over at tilty.house. It's T-I-L-T-Y dot H-O-U-S-E. I guarantee that will work as a URL. And from there, you can find everything that Corey and I do, including our podcast streams and our links on the bad weather, the bad website, twitch.com. Uh, cool. That's it. Good night. Right. I have to do it here.